Here we are inside the factory where we actually make pin moss. You'll see behind me that we actually use a bunch of different feedstocks to make our product. 34% of material that goes to the landfill is cellulose fiber. That's even after all of the recycling that we do. So we feel like there is a plentiful amount of product out on the market that we can use as feedstock. And we continue to do more and more R&D to improve our products and integrate new feedstocks into what we do. The first half of the plant that I'm going to show you is where we fiberize those feedstocks. So we take paper, cardboard type materials, cellulose fiber, and again, we fiberize it to a really small particle size. And this is not super unique to pit moss. People that make blow-in insulation use a similar process. We also make a very unique particle size in our mixer. We have a patent pending technology around how we formulate the pit moss. And after we formulate it in our mixer, we end up packaging it in large 75 cubic foot super sacks, which you'll see behind me here. This is where, in some cases, we actually compost our material. From here, this is where we would package into smaller packaging um, to get ready for the retail market.